everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how energy is stolen from our bodies and how to build it back up again. What I'm holding here is a lemon. And this has quantum energy in it. It is the energy of the day. When this is picked, especially if it's picked ripe, it's the energy of the day. And I'm sorry I can't see your comments from here, so I'll try and answer as many as I can uh, after, after we get done here. So, lemons. Everything in the world is made from a cell. Everything that's alive is made from a cell. And we need to nourish those cells. Live energy will do that, which is what's in this. Everything you need to hydrate and build in your body comes from all live foods. Fruits, berries, melons, vegetables. Although vegetables are not as powerful as fruits, berries, and melons, they're extremely important because they are a cellular builder. Where the fruits, berries, and melons build some, but they're more of a cleanser. They're cleansing the internal body. This is also very key when it comes to this. How often do you cleanse your external body and why? Do you know that all that stuff you're washing off is coming from your internal body? So if it's important to cleanse the external body, it's important to cleanse the internal body. And that is something that cooked food cannot do. Cooked food is more of a congesting uh, product. So I'm going to show you something here that, uh, I have my light plugged in. We're going to cut this lemon and we're going to squeeze it into a glass of water. And we have another glass of water here. And I'm going to show you the difference between the conductivity. For people that are drinking water, is water awesome? Yes, of course it is. But if you're minerally deficient and you drink water, it's not really conducting electricity like you think it is in your body. Matter of fact, first thing we're going to do is, I have two glasses of water here. And this is a live 110 volts right now. Yes. <laughs> so what's going to happen is, hopefully, this light is going to light. And we're going to get this out of the way so you can see it. Okay, you see that light start to light? It's getting brighter and brighter. This is electricity for your body on a cellular level. It's a cleanser and a power builder. Now, how many of you think that when I put this in this water, it's going to like make that light bulb scream? So let's put it in there. This is tap water. I have done all kinds of water. I have other videos on YouTube that uh, show you that water is not conductive until you get in it, because you're the mineral source that completes that circuit. So while we're, while we're waiting for this to light, let's cut this lemon, and we will, I'm going to put it in this glass, since that one's got 110 volts in it, <laughs> and I'll be putting lemon juice in there. Now the lemon juice by itself will light this. I'm going to put quite a bit in. So as this is going in your body and it's cleansing, it's also generating power, electricity. It takes two things to generate electricity, water and minerals. How awesome is that? That's your body. That is what is giving your adrenals and your whole system a boost as it's cleaning it. Now if we want to get even crazier, okay, and in my uh, mixes, 
I always talk about a little bit of salt. This is sea salt. I prefer Himalayan, but I don't have any right now. But you watch what happens this light when I put some salt in there. These are energy builders. See how much brighter that's getting? Now, we do not produce salt in our bodies. So it's important that we keep consuming a little bit because we sweat salt out. Now, how your energy is being stolen, and it does it all the time. Man-made sugar. People go, oh, don't eat fruit, it's got sugar in it. Well, this is live. Everything you need for your body to make it run properly is in fruits, berries, melons, vegetables, okay, and live, life-giving liquids, which is when your body's in trouble, you need those live liquids because we're dehydrated. So watch what happens when I put a little bit of sugar in here. See that light go down? That's your adrenals. Now they're going to fight back a little bit, but they're not going to come back all the way. Over years of doing this, you get weaker and weaker on a cellular level. Because we're so focused on kidneys and adrenals and lungs and arms and, and our head and, and all these different things, right? They're all made of cells. So if we energize the cells, everything else will take care of itself. That's what the body does. When we are born, let me back that up a little bit. Everything that's alive is a cell. So we have a dad who has a cell known as sperm and a mom, uh, which is the egg, right? And they unite and they create a cell. That cell starts to divide in the mom's womb. Again and again and again until it forms a baby. So we have a mom, that's a bunch of cells, and we have a baby, that's a bunch of cells. And when that baby is ready, those two cells divide, because that's what cells do, they divide. And you have two people, two groups of cells. So the better we take care of ourselves, the easier and the better it's going to be for us and our children to be healthy, because the healthier the cell is, the stronger it is. This is strength. This is weakness. Time is such an amazing thing when it comes to congesting our body and becoming dehydrated. Now, I'm on my tenth day of the Master Cleanse, and I have herbal teas, and that's all I'm having. Oh, and uh, hemp oil. Uh, that has been amazing, and I'm actually documenting all that. Uh, I have a lot of hair, but all my hair is growing back in. There was some that, you know, it's kind of migrating a little. I am 67. So, all the way back, it's all growing in. And guess what? It's its original color. So it's kind of interesting, I can't wait for like six months to go by, but I do have photographs of my hair as it's filling back in. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. And I want to thank Angie Vanio for that because she's the one that really told me about this product and we had no idea if this was actually going to do anything. So some time went by before I happened to look in the mirror and I was like, holy crap, I got hair growing back. And I took a picture. So I've been taking pictures kind of off and on through the process. And then I noticed it's all the way back. It's not just in the front. Blows my mind. This is how powerful our bodies is. When we are like being developed in the womb, we think that we have to take care of our body. 
in a way we do, but we need to take care of it on a cellular level by giving our cells what they need. The cells will do the rest, just like they built you in the womb. That's quantum energy, and that's what this lemon is, quantum energy. If you want to stay current, and you want to stay up to date, have live energy. Liquefy your body. We're supposed to be 70% water from our neck down, and 85% water from our neck up. So our brain is 75, uh, excuse me, 85% water. And when we get dehydrated, and we get congested, dementia, Alzheimer's, dis-ease, pain, joint pain, leg pain, all these different things, back pain, all come from that. So I just thought I'd do this little demonstration. We'll put this back in the water over here. As you can see, that water is not doing a whole lot for you. And I could leave this right here for a week. And as long as there's still water and, and lemon juice in there, it'll do this right here. And, and I could leave it on for days. It will not get weaker because water and minerals create energy. One of the things that's happening when you're putting, like you're going for a hike, let's say, and you get a little tired, a little fatigued, you eat a candy bar, and all of a sudden you get a shot of energy. Well, what's happening is, as that's diminishing, your adrenals have to deal with that poison you just put in there. So what do they do? They kick the adrenaline up and give you a boost. And as you're getting this boost and you're, you continue climbing up the hill, all of a sudden you hit a real low. Well, that's because the digestive system took care of that poison and all of a sudden the adrenals shut off and your energy goes with it. Well, they can only do that so many times over your lifetime. And they get weaker and weaker and weaker until you could become bedridden. You could become almost like in a coma. Matter of fact, there is such a thing called a food coma where you eat because 60% of your available energy goes to digest your food. Well, that's pretty cool, but if you only have 70% of your available energy, or energy available, and 60% of it has to go digest your food, your body is smart enough to put you to sleep. So when people get lethargic, uh, they can't stay awake. After they eat, that's why. They drink alcohol, they can't stay awake, that's why. So, I am so glad to be able to bring this information to you and for you to see right here what this is doing because this is you and what's in that glass is your stomach so we control every ounce of energy our body's putting out we've just never been told that it's the food we're eating and that doesn't mean that you can't eat cooked food not in my world anyway in my world you need to start adding live food with your meals. Or skip a meal and have some live liquids. Have 32 ounces of the Master Cleanse or coconut water or grape juice or, or something that's alive. And you will be amazed at how quick your body will respond to that. Now, in the body, there are 13 channels of elimination. As we get congested, those start to get blocked, aka hair starting to disappear. Can't smell anymore, can't taste anymore, uh, having problem with your vision. Uh, the fluid in your eyes is lymphatic fluid. And as they get acidic, they start to swell. And depending on how your eye socket is built, it's gonna go up or back nearsighted, farsighted. That's how simple it is. 
everything that we're being told is so complicated and in a language that we can't understand, it's time that we all started to focus on our bodies on a cellular level and what they need. They need hydration, they need food, and they need to be cleaned because every cell is a mini you. As the, because we all know the blood is the kitchen and it brings nutrients and oxygen to every cell in your body because they can't move. And like you, they eat, they digest, and they eliminate. And what they eliminate is pee and poop. So what cleans that? Because it's sitting there, it can't go anywhere. What cleans that is the lymphatic system. It goes up through and it cleans that waste and takes it to the lymph nodes and it changes it from about a 3 pH to about a 6 so that it can travel through the pathways down through and be eliminated through the kidneys. So these 13 channels are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, front door, 11, back door, 12, the skin, which is your third kidney, so lymphatic waste is being pushed out through the skin, especially if you're having problems with your kidneys. So as the kidneys have problems, it backs up. It backs up in the body and it starts working its way up. And it goes right up into the head. And all this acid, you know, like if you've ever seen anybody with uh, glaucoma or anything like that, that's pressure in the eyeball. We have pressure in our body. Our, our pH, I mean, our pressure in our body is about 14.3. So all these different areas are all running differently and they all have different pHs too. So when you hear the, uh, a blanket of 7.365, well they say 7, 7.4, because they're not going to give you the actual answer. Know that your mouth is different, your urine is different, your stool is different. There's many things. They're all they're all different. So they kind of throw a blanket over everything, and we we get totally confused by it. The thirteenth and most important elimination organ or eliminative organ is the brain. As above, so below, right? So if your mind is congested, your body is congested too. So it's time to clean that all out. And the best way to do that is with hydration. So I hope you found this interesting. And please like and friend if you did. And I will see you in my next live episode. So my very first one and it's awesome to be here and please leave comments I see many of you commenting now so I will go and read through those and see what we can do to help you get on the road to Wellville because Wellville is way much, is way better than Hellville my friends and it's time you turn that, went down, if you go down that road, it's time you turned around and started coming back. And that's what I live for, is to help you go from Hellville to Wellville. We can do it, you can do it, all you need is the right information, and you can get that right here. So thank you for stopping by, and I will see you in the next video.